Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Edge 20 Lite and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I don't need to provide a pattern that was previously used, Google account and obviously you have this little lock icon right here as well. So anyway, to get started with the bypass uh, you will need a SIM card with a pin on it. So. If your SIM card doesn't have a pen, pop it into a different device, set one up, and then insert it back in here. We'll take off the cover just so I can access the SIM tray. There we go. So as you can see, once you pop in your SIM card, it will give you a pin for it. So I'll put that on. There we go. So confirm your pin and this will, oh this should keep the device locked, but apparently it did not. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Let's do that again. So pop it out, pop it back in and there we go and pop it out. As you can see, once you take it out, when it asks you for a pin, it will keep that message on. So right here, we're gonna slide down on it. Sliding down. Ah, oh, there we go. Slide down. Select manage. And this will take you to this screen right over here. So right now, I'm gonna now select see all from the last seven days. And from here, let's see. Most recent, we're gonna see all apps. And we're gonna now flick all the way down to YouTube. And you wanna click on the icon and select open. Once it opens up YouTube, click on this icon right here of an account. And then select settings, about, and YouTube Terms of Service, which opens up our web browser. From here, accept and continue, and no thanks. Tap on the field right at the top and navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass. So I will write it down and you can pause the video if you need a moment to write it down yourself. So there it is. Although I wrote it incorrectly, I can already see. There we go. So now I'm gonna enter it. As you can see, it takes us to this website right here. You wanna scroll down to settings application click on it and obviously it opens up our settings so in here we're gonna now scroll down to accessibility and we're gonna select there we go accessibility menu I'm gonna toggle it on allow and okay and as you can see give us a message that uh, to get it up you just use two fingers like so okay so from here we're gonna go back back once more and now we're gonna go into apps and notifications right over here and then you want to select see all 40 apps and then three dots to show system apps as well and we will now need to stop the Android setup so there is only one Nope, not oh wait, that's system, there is a setup. But it looks like there is only one. So anyway, click on it, then select four stop and OK. And once you have four stops that one, we're gonna now scroll down, we'll go back and then scroll down to Google Play Services. There we go, Google Play Services. As you can see it was somewhere halfway. 
and again we're gonna now disable disable up and just to be safe we can select for stuff and okay so once you have well, disabled the two applications uh, you want to now basically back out to the first page stop there we go uh, so we're gonna keep on backing out Okay, let's go back once more. And from here... Okay, so from here we're gonna select don't copy. And I believe this is the screen that it's gonna keep on like not doing anything. Yep. So you should see this right here. And it shouldn't go anywhere further it will just kind of cycle through fail and we do it so that is basically what we're looking for and now what we need to do is using those two fingers we're going to pull out the accessibility menu select assistant and if it doesn't do anything we're going to do it again as you can see there was a settings icon for just a split second okay we want to click on that and before i actually do it because this is very time sensitive i need to be really quick about it uh, once you click on the settings it will open up our uh, it will open up the Google Play services which we have disabled and it will look exactly the same so all you want to do is select enable and once you do that it will actually stay open so you want to keep on doing that till we can actually manage to enable it As you can see, sometimes you might click on it and the phone doesn't actually enable it. So just keep on doing till it finally enables it. There we go. As you can see, once it's enabled, it actually stays open, which is fine. Once you enable it, you want to go back. Get rid of this. And it just progresses further without actually you needing to verify anything. So now what you want to do is simply finish the setup of the device. Okay, so once you have access to your home screen, open up your settings. Then scroll all the way down to system, advanced, and reset options, factory data reset, and erase all data. Once you tap on erase all data once more, it will begin a factory reset of the device. Now the reason you want to do this is because the device is still locked, performing a reset through settings basically fully unlocks it. But I'm not going to go over this on camera just because it provides you with no additional information. It just goes to a set or well, factory reset and then you're in the setup at which point you can set up your device however you like. It's fully unlocked so it's just a normal typical uh, setup that you're most likely used to. So that's why I'm not going to go through it. At, at the point you press this button, the process is basically fully finished. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.